everyone, Jason here. Over the last couple of weeks, I've been experimenting with designing a Lego escapement mechanism. Now, escapement mechanisms are typically used in mechanical clocks to power the timekeeping device, but I really wanted to see what I could do with one to power a Lego sculpture. And in this case, I decided to build the cow jumping over the moon, which is of course from the traditional English nursery rhyme. And in addition to having the cow move back and forth above the moon, I also have it so the eye of the moon is actually tracking the motion of the cow. So let's take a look at how this all works. The first thing I'm going to do is take the moon off the front. So you have a clearer view of what's behind it. And the moon basically just hangs off this axle which is the same axle the pendulum swings from, and the eye just sits at the end of it like so. And if we start it up, you can see how the pendulum swings. And the cow is just attached to the pendulum using one of these transparent bars. And we can see the pendulum goes all the way almost to the ground. The pendulum is about 80 studs long for this model. And you can see in the back the escapement mechanism. So how does an escapement mechanism work? Here I just have the escapement gear and as you can see there's a spool attached to the end of it with a string wrapped around it and at the end of the string is this weight. So if I just hang the weight, gravity will want to pull it down which will of course spin that gear. And this is where all the energy of the escapement mechanism comes from. And this is also why in a traditional clock powered this way you have to reset the weights periodically because as the clock operates the weights slowly fall to the ground. So if we add the pendulum back into the system, drop the weight and swing the pendulum, you can see that there are these two arms attached to the top of the pendulum which alternately stop the gear from spinning. And at the same time, because of the weight wanting to spin the gear, every time one of these arms comes out of the gear, the gear actually pushes the arm a little bit. And that's actually what keeps the pendulum swinging. Because if we take the weight off and just swing the pendulum freely, It will slowly lose energy to air resistance and friction and eventually stop. I guess that's about all there is to it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. As always, I hope you enjoyed the model and the video. Thanks for watching, keep on building, and I will see you next time.